Hey guys, been having a lot of fun with the uh, Raspberry Pi which you probably could hardly see it's this thing right down here, a sandwich in the middle it's uh, audio out, video out which is not being used right now because I'm using the other side as you can see this is just jam packed with all kinds of uh, ports that's power over here that's a SD card for where the programs are that's HDMI and underneath there I actually stuck a uh, powered USB uh, hub because it only has two ports and I want more ports so I put a USB hub in there and um, the whole thing is held together with uh, foam um, foam board hot glued together but anyway the reason I want to do this is how I'm about to disassemble this because I just got more toys from Adafruit so uh, before I disassemble this I thought I'd do a video and um, what it is is basically I've just been following a whole bunch of different tutorials and learning all kinds of things about Python learning things about I squared C and this is an analog to digital converter unlike the Arduino the uh, Raspberry Pi doesn't have an analog input so you have to have an analog to digital converter that converts that and transmit it to uh, the I square C bus to these wires here and uh, onto the Pi and then the Pi sees it in Python uh, most of the code I didn't write I learned stuff from uh, Adafruit uh, learned stuff from Magpie magazine and um, thank God to Google I Google everything <laughs> I don't know how to do anything in the Linux so everything I Google but here's a little demonstration of what it can do it was something that I hacked together from the different various um, programs let's move this down so you guys can see it but basically it's a little pong game it, it doesn't score or anything it, I didn't even set it such that you would die so with this little potentiometer here moves this back and forth <coughs> excuse me I'm not sure what causes that pause and I'm gonna post the uh, code so maybe someone smarter than me could tell me what caused that pause but that's about it had a lot of fun uh, learning um, how to create this hopefully somebody else could uh, look at the code and learn from it too Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.